Bongo Group Project Tools are part of the Bongo Learn Virtual Classroom platform. You can use Group Project Tools to create project areas in which learners can share and discuss work in progress, communicate through chat or scheduled meetings, set and manage project milestones, submit finished group projects, and team and peer evaluate. When accessing Bongo Group Project Tools through the D2L Brightspace VLE, you navigate to it by selecting assessments and video assignments from within your module. You can also create links to group projects in your modules using the existing activities button within the content area. Next, you'll be taken to the Bongo assignments page from where you can view and create different types of individual and group assessments. In this case, We'll click on the large circular plus icon on the bottom right of the screen and select Create Group Assignment. On the following page, you'll give your assignment a name and optional due date and time. You'll also select between Grading Rubric, Pass Fail, Star Rating or Auto Pass where participants automatically pass when they make a submission. In this instance, we'll select Rubric. You'll then add instructions for your group project, either by text, recording a video, or both. We'll leave peer review enabled so that groups can evaluate one another's submissions, and then select the number of reviews that each learner has to complete. In Bongo, individual learners review the submissions of other groups, which is to say that groups cannot review other groups unless one group member is nominated to do so on behalf of the group. You can set the number of reviews that you'd like each individual to undertake here. And under advanced options, you can disable or enable video or document based submission and group formed meetings. You may also wish to provide a separate set of post submission instructions to provide guidance to learners on the peer review, team evaluation or self assessment processes. You can also choose whether groups are educator formed, system formed, or formed by learners. If you'd like group members to evaluate one another internally, enable team evaluation and choose either a star or a rubric scoring method. You can also determine whether the peer review submissions made available to learners are automatically system selected or user selected. If you choose system selected, Bongo will ensure that reviews are equally distributed amongst all submissions. Allowing peer review before submission will allow members of groups who haven't submitted their assignment to review the work of others. You can also anonymize peer review by concealing the identities of either submitters, reviewers or both. You can set optional due dates and times for peer review here. If you select a rubric scoring method for peer review or team evaluation, you'll need to create or import one. To create a new rubric, click on the ellipsis menu and select configure rubric. This will take you to the rubrics page where you'll see a list of existing Bongo rubrics you've created and from which you can create or upload a new rubric using the circular plus icon. Rubrics can be imported here as CSV files for which Bongo provides downloadable templates. Alternatively, you can use the rubrics wizard within Bongo to create a new one, giving your rubric a distinct name and adding cells, rows, descriptions and points as you see fit. When your rubric is ready, simply click save. In this case, however, we'll simply select existing Bongo rubrics for peer review and team evaluation from the relevant drop down menus. When you're using a rubric, you can also enable self assessment. By default, individuals will self assess using the standard project rubric. When you've configured all of your group project options, select Save. 
your newly created project will now show in the Bongo Assignments page. Clicking on the ellipsis menu to the right of it will give you the following options. Gradebook, from where you can review the progress of each group, including milestones, chat messages, and work in progress files, as well as grade final submissions. Manage groups, from where you can manually configure groups or copy them from a previous assignment. From the Manage Groups page, you'll select the number of groups you'd like to create, and then either randomize enrollment or drag and drop individual participants into each group. Configure, where you can change initial group assignment settings, and copy and delete options. From the Group Assignment Gradebook page, you can begin grading by clicking on the Grade Student Submission link. Here you'll see details of the group's final submission. At the bottom of the screen, you can preview or download the file itself. You'll also see any peer review scores and commentary here. Instructors can also add commentary in this section. On the top of the page, you can also grade the assignment with the scoring method selected. You can review and compare instructor, peer and self-evaluation scores here and also release team evaluations to students. When a student accesses their group assignment, they'll see the following. The name of their project. The name of their group and its members. Students can also change the name of their group from the ellipsis menu. Milestones due and scheduled meeting times. These meetings will take place in the Bongo Virtual Classroom and can be text, audio or video based. Instructions for the assignment, including its rubric. A milestones area where students can view milestones and set their status as open or completed. And a work in progress area where students can add video files, documents and links schedule meetings in the virtual classroom, and set milestones and milestone ownership. All files uploaded to the work in progress area can be previewed and downloaded by group members. On the top right hand side of the screen, they'll see the chat box, which they can use to communicate with their group. The activity log will also show them what's been going on within their group, including file uploads and scheduled meetings. When a group has finalized their submission, they can submit it by clicking the star next to the appropriate file in the work in progress area, and then confirming by clicking submit. After completing their group submission, learners will see a box on the group tools page with the header Peer Review. Here they can review document or video submissions from other teams, leave comments, and depending on your configuration, assign rubric scores or star ratings. To do so, they simply click on the link under the comments box and enter their score. If you've created post submission instructions, they'll also be featured here. Rubrics will open in a pop-up window, which users can score by selecting the relevant cells and then clicking Save. A progress bar on the top right of this section will indicate how many peer evaluations they have left to complete. Students can navigate between peers using the Next Peer button or this drop-down menu. At the bottom of the page, Groups will be able to see the feedback left on their own submissions from both peers and instructors, as well as their peer review score. At the top of the screen, they'll also find the grade or score awarded by their instructor, and be able to view their rubric results and any commentary. 
If you've enabled team evaluation, learners will be able to score their group members using either a five-star rating or a rubric. They can also leave comments. Team evaluation is accessed from the top right-hand side of the screen. From here, students can toggle through their group members and score them by clicking on the link below their name. In this case, we've used the rubric. Comments can also be added separately. Learners can also self-assess by clicking on a link in the bottom right-hand corner of the My Submissions section. Again, in this example, we're using the assignment rubric for this purpose.